How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a cover-up, and this cover-up has everything I love doing, which is texture, contrast, a whole bunch of highlights, a whole bunch of details. And it's gonna be an amazing day. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. So you got this done when? Uh, Two thousand ten, I'm gonna say. Two thousand and ten. Yeah. Thirteen years ago. Yeah. So you drew the ribbon? Yeah. <laughs> I legit drew the ribbon, bro. Oh. I legit was like, he's like, what do you have in mind? This. <laughs> and, yeah, and literally like, because my brother has the ribbon, but he has like the words like right here. Uh huh. Because it says fighting cancers takes balls, but I did it. Uh -huh. That's what my brother says. Oh. This one says, but my brother did it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I drew on a piece of paper and I told him, I was like, maybe you could just put it down here. He literally listened. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, this what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't even know why I didn't pay attention, honestly. Wow. Okay, but once once the stencil was on, you didn't... I, 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 I didn't even think... Yeah, I guess. He was just going with the flow. Yeah, he was just he was just like, oh, is that cool? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, bro. Yeah, so he, you just assumed that he was gonna do better. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is just my example. You do what you want with it, you know, because yeah. you're the artist. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. I just assume. I get that. Yeah. I, I mean, I get that because I do that. You know, like my stencils, <laughs> they look ugly. You know, what I mean? <laughs> but at least I know I can <clears throat> go in. You know. Yeah. Because the client is expecting me to be creative with it. We left and we went straight to our apartment with my brother because my uh -huh. brother got tattooed, my ex got tattooed, and I got tattooed. Oh. Yeah. All three. Oh. So you guys were in a vibe, you yeah. know? You guys were yeah. in a vibe, you guys were hanging out. Yeah, that's why I was like, uh, like I'm not even going to pay attention like that. <laughs> no. After I got home, I was like, I'm like, I feel like he just did what I did. And he's like, <laughs> what do you mean? I was like, Bro, I'm the one that added the shading on those edges. <laughs> He's like, well, that's what yeah. you asked for, my guy. Yeah, my, brother, my brother's like, well, you did tell him you wanted that. I was like, <laughs> oh, hey. I was like, <laughs> I was like bro, that don't mean he does that shit. <laughs> now we just erase this one and we'll put it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>
I just packed in all the solid black here and that was my first step because I definitely wanted to see how dark I can make the chin to make it stand out. There is uh, my reference, uh, it's, it doesn't have a whole bunch of contrast, but I want to add contrast because it is a cover up. So I got to make sure that your attention goes to different areas of the tattoo to distract the eye from the cover up. And I want to make sure that everything's even because if the contrast on the face is super dark and I don't go dark enough on the chin, it's gonna, it's gonna feel, it's gonna, it's gonna look like it's a cover up. So we definitely want to continue the contrast from the beginning. We got to make sure that we stay consistent from the chin all the way up to the top of the, the piece. So consistency is going to be everything on this piece.
So what I did here, I just ended up doing the eye sockets with the nose. I did the same thing like I did on the bottom. I wanted to attack the contrast first so I can keep in mind, I don't want to go too dark, you know, but I definitely need a lot of contrast to be able to cover up these letters here. So with me having this already, that's letting me know, hey, I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is doing texture, stepping back so I can kind of, you know, get an idea if I'm going too light or, or too dark. But like I said, my reference is very light. So what I'm doing is adding more contrast, adding more contrast and more contrast because I feel like I can do better if I go with my own instincts just because this is meant to look good as a picture, not as a tattoo. So I'm making those changes to make sure that they, it stands out and it, it looks good on skin. Just got done outlining the whole entire crown just because I, I don't want to be fighting the stencil by applying so many shades and so many grays and stuff like that. So I didn't want to um, risk it, you know, having the stencil kind of uh, uh, erase on me. There is a lot of lines with the ribbon that he already has here. So it is definitely going to be a little bit challenging having to uh, cover it up. but. What the thing that's gonna help me a lot on the crown is all the shapes and all the lines that he has and it has a whole bunch of texture as well. So 
it shouldn't be a problem, but on some areas where it might be a little complicated, it would be on the jam areas. Uh, but uh, my approach is gonna be first applying my solid black, my contrast, because I want the cross and the designs of the crown to stand out. So I'm gonna be doing the what's inside of the crown and some other details. I'm just gonna be doing the contrast first. Let's do it! Yo no soy tu marido! Ni tampoco tu hombre. Solamente el cangri que cuando tú. <risa> ¿Has escuchado la canción la de para atrás, tra, tra, para atrás, tra, no? Para abajo, todos, todos. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, has another one for you. Mayonesa. Yes. Okay. Hacer eje. Yes. Okay. <risa> la vaca. Move. <risa> No, uh, what's, what's el gato. El gato volado. Yeah. Wait, hey, what's that other? Uh, uh, fuck, what's that? No, 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 no. Come on, guys. Fuck, what's that? Fuck, bro. No, Chacarón. No, no. Chacarón. That's Chacarón. what it is. Chacarón. Chacarón. There you go. <laughs> Dang. Memories. But if you really translate those songs in English, they sound weird. Imagine, like El Gato Volador, the flying cat. Yeah. This one is crazier, bro. This one is even crazier. The table that claps the most. <laughs> Who made these songs? Who made these songs? Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. It was a really fun project. I had a lot of fun, uh, especially with a client like that. He sits like a rock. He definitely gives me a lot of creative freedom and the vibes are always great with him. And so with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.